Hey guys, what's up? It's Erica. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I went to Zara last week and I got some pieces. I went shopping in person. I was honestly hoping for more like fall pieces, but maybe because I was shopping in store. It's definitely obviously online has more and I think with COVID like in-person stores have really gone downhill. They don't have nearly half the stuff that they have online. I went because I saw so many people doing like Zara fall hauls and I was obsessed with everything that I was seeing. And then I went and I did find like cute pieces, but they're not necessarily super fally. Um, but yeah, some of them I tried on, some of them I didn't try on. So some of them will be like my first time trying on them, but I will tell you guys how much everything costs and my size and just my overall like thought of every piece that I try on for you guys. Um, so this is gonna be try on haul. Oh yeah, if you guys are new here and you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. So let's just get right into this video. Okay, so this is the first top that I got. Um, even though I don't necessarily like consider white a fall color, I feel like it's kind of a fall piece because the style and like long sleeve, it's kind of thick too, so it would like definitely keep you warm. I really like this top, like I think it's very flattering um, that it has like this ruching detail and it kind of like sucks you in in all the right places. Um, something that I don't like about this shirt is the buttons stop like here, so I feel like if you're trying to wear it in, more, in a more conservative setting, I feel like the button is a little low, um, so it would be nice if you like had the option to button it a little bit higher if you wanted to wear this to like work or something. But I do think it is also like a good fashion piece, especially since like, especially since layering with collars is like so big these days. Like this would be really cute tucking out of like a sweater vest or a crew neck. Um, and just like this, I think it's really cute. So this top was $50 and it is in a size small. I did find that um, I tried on some pieces in the dressing room and my sizing was like really all over the place. I would say like most of the time I fit a small and then like sometimes a medium, but definitely things at Zara were running a little bit smaller. The next piece is this like cropped, this is like short sleeve sweatshirt type of thing. It's in like a tan color, which I feel like is kind of a folly color. Um, I honestly don't like this as much as I thought I was going to like it. It's a little bit like distressed. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a little distressed, but... I thought I was gonna like this more. I mean, it's definitely something like I would wear because I like, I like feeling comfortable and like, this is definitely a comfortable shirt and it looks like maybe you tried a little bit harder, but it is like very boxy. And I also feel like you could easily thrift something like this. 50 to 60% of my clothes I thrift. So this is something that I don't, I think it's cute and I would wear it if I owned it, but I don't think it's worth $25. Um, which is what it cost and this is also in a size small definitely super wearable But like I try to only buy things that I couldn't thrift I'm just like pretty cheap with basic clothes and I'm like I could just thrift it. So that's kind of my mindset on this piece Okay, the next piece that I got is a sweater and when I went into Zara Like I said, I was looking for fall stuff So I was looking around for sweaters and honestly there were not many sweaters to choose from and I was like this is kind of cute. It's got more of like a pastel-y color vibe than like, to me, this is less fall color-ish than I was hoping. But literally, when I tell you guys, this is painful to try on. It is so itchy. Would not recommend. The neck is really itchy and it's really tight around your neck. I hate it. Like, it's kind of cute and I could see myself wearing it if it was actually like not literally eating my skin alive but it's horrible yeah don't like it really tight around the neck really itchy and honestly not really fall vibes like no okay the next thing is this kind of like corset style top um i really like like the pattern and the colors in it it's definitely more folly everyone these days is wearing a corset um i do think it's cute i am wearing super high-waisted jeans and personally, I would like it if like it was a little bit longer. So if I was wearing like lower jeans um, or even just like mid-rise jeans, I wouldn't like show a whole bunch of my stomach, but that's just my personal preference. Like seeing this pattern from far away, I don't know if you guys know, I don't know how to say her name, but she's the model like Emily 
Rata Jukowski or something. She has a brand of clothes and like the print from far away is like really giving me the same vibes. I really like a lot of her pieces. I don't own any of them. They're all super expensive, but um, this print and this top is kind of giving me those vibes, which is kind of cool. This is in a size medium. Um, like I said, pretty much everything else I got in a small. Um, but yeah, this is definitely like, I feel like of course it needs to be tight. Like there's not a whole lot of room. But I don't know if there's supposed to be, but yeah, I got this in a medium. I don't think it would fit in a small for me. And this was $35, which actually to me, $35 for this, I'm kind of surprised by it. I would have thought it would be more. So I don't know. I think this is actually, I think this is one of the best like value pieces, especially since like these are so trendy. I would have thought this would have been like $50. So that's a point for this top. Then the next thing I got is this dress. I'm liking it less on camera than I am in person. I'm going to Mexico in like two months and I really like these dresses with the like whole thing right there, but I don't know, actually seeing this on camera, it makes me like this a lot less. Um, again, this is not a super fall piece cause it's like white and a dress, but also I feel like it's not like a super breathable fabric and probably being in a hot and humid place, this dress would actually probably be really uncomfortable. I've seen a lot of like this style, but like crochet, which would be much more comfortable and I could like wear it over a bathing suit. So I thought this dress was actually my favorite piece, but now I'm not really loving it. But this is a size small and it was $45, which I actually think $45 is a pretty fair price for this dress. Okay, the last item that I got is this leather skirt. Um, this is definitely like a more folly piece and I feel like these little black mini skirts are really coming back in style. I mean, it is pleather, so like my apartment is like super hot and I'm sweating a lot, so it's it's kind of uncomfortable right now, but this is like a good staple and like the whole leather pant thing has been so big. I feel like a mini leather skirt is going to be kind of like, it's going to be pretty trendy this fall. I wouldn't say it's anything special though, like I'm not in love with it, I don't hate it, but it's pretty basic. Um, again, this is a size small and it's $35, which is a pretty reasonable price, I think, so... Okay, that was everything for my Zara haul. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these because it kind of gives me an excuse to go shopping. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to link everything that I tried on if I can find it online, which their website is really, really hard to navigate if you've ever been on it, but I will try my hardest. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.